Welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> it's been a couple of weeks since I posted a video, and part of that has been because the SD card reader in my um, Canon EOS R stopped reading SD cards. In fact, I couldn't even seat the SD card. It just kept popping back up. So I had to send it off to Canon. <clears throat> and uh, two weeks and $400 later, they fixed the bent pins that I'm not really sure how they got bent, but evidently they did. Um, and so it's working and I'm videoing on it even as we speak. Um, needless to say, this is not the video that I had intended to post today. But then again, most of the videos that I post are not the videos <laughs> that I intended to post. <laughs> Oh, you got to love it. I, uh, I've been remodeling my living room and, uh, all, you know, new couch, new chair. Well, it's actually a 40 year old chair, but new to me, um, new rug, coffee table, end table, floor lamps, all that new dining table, all that new trying to modularize, if that's a word, uh, the space just a little bit, get it a little smaller footprint of my furniture so that the room is not overwhelmed by overstuffed couches and regular sized dining tables and all that kind of stuff. And I knew that when I did that, it was going to change the profile of the furniture against the wall and where I used to have a square picture over my couch because half the couch was under the window. I would now be able to put in a full-size panoramic style picture and I knew exactly the picture I wanted. I can't really explain very well why I love Pasigrill Beach, Florida so much. Unless you've been there, it's difficult to understand. It's just a Gulf beach town, sort of. But it's at the end of a peninsula so that on one side of the peninsula you have the Gulf and, on, and, and like two blocks over on the other side of the peninsula you have the bay. And you have the bay looking directly at the sunrise and you have the Gulf looking directly at the sunset. And there is this wonderful tradition that I've talked about before where at sunset, it doesn't matter if it's raining, sunny, cloudy, no clouds, doesn't matter, stormy, windy, whatever. People gather at the grill um, at sunset and they watch the sunset together. And as the sun just creeps down over the horizon, they ring the bell. And it's a different person every time, guests, out of town visitors, long time residents, somebody gets chosen to ring the bell. And then the crowd erupts in a wonderful round of applause for the beautiful picture that nature has given them once again. And it's, I don't know, there was just something about it the first time that I went that my whole body my, my mind, my soul just kind of gave a collective <sighs> like this wonderful rest. The stress of the job, the stress of everyday life, the stress of whatever, <clears throat> gone. And you could just sort of relax into where you were. And I know a lot of people get that other places, and I, I have a couple of places like that other than Passa Grill. It's one of the reasons why I want so badly to go back to Assisi, Italy. The short time that I was there with a school tour, um, even with 70 or 80 kids and a bunch of other adults and very crowded streets, I had that same feeling when I walked into the Basilica of St. Francis. Um, and it's why to this day that I still wear my St. Francis ring that I bought there. And I need that. I, I think everybody needs a place in their home to be that. So I knew exactly what I wanted to, to shoot, to, to put a picture over the couch. 
And I went down to Pass a Grill for three and a half days as part of my spring break and videoed a lot of stuff and uh, you know went through a lot of a lot of footage and took a lot of pictures and I picked this spot uh, at a set of pilings next to Mary Pier and it's a favorite fishing spot for people it's a favorite fishing spot for birds it's usually covered with birds and you can look over the bay to the row of condominiums and apartments that are on the other side of the of the water and to watch the sunrise there, just to sit down on a park bench and watch the sunrise is just a wonderful experience. And so I went there to take a picture <clears throat> and to video the process of creating this picture for my living room wall. Two things went wrong. <laughs> I shoot my, my footage of, of uh, video when I'm talking to the camera. I shoot that on my Canon M50. And I have my um, 20 millimeter prime on there. And I had a neutral density, graduated neutral density filter to cut down the sunlight. And I typically shoot at F2. It's an F2.8 lens. But with the Viltrox speed booster, I can get F2 out of it so that the background blurs out nicely and I'm separated from the background. That works out really well when I'm close to the camera. But I was probably 12 feet away from the camera. And at that point, the face tracking autofocus software of the camera at F2, this really, really thin plane of focus, it had a hard time keeping, well, let me just show you. So as I look back over the footage, uh, as I was trying to put this video together, I thought, well, okay, there's a little bit here where the camera keeps going in and out of focus. And as long as that's not too often, I can live with that. And the more that I watched it, the more I realized there may be more video out of focus than in focus. And the bottom line is, instead of shooting at F2, I should have shot at 5.6 or something. <clears throat> because at that point, it really didn't matter that the, that the background was way out of focus. There wasn't much in the background. And if I had shot at f5.6, I would have had a wider plane for focal point and the face tracking software would have kept up with me and the video would have turned out much better. As it is, the video is useless. And then as I listened to it, it was a very, very windy couple of days. <clears throat> And I had to set up so that my back was to the wind, but any time that I turned sideways to look at my camera, the audio was just, well, again, let me just, let me just play a bit. I will come back and take some shots with the sun sort of shining on these pilings here. Um, I'm also taking a few um, time lapse and maybe some slow motion video while I'm here, a little B-roll. But right now I'm waiting for the light to sort of even out Nobody wants to listen to that for 12 minutes. Nobody, especially not me. They say that the more, that more important to YouTube videos is the audio than the video. People can overlook some video problems, but if you are assaulting their ears, <laughs> they're gonna turn it off. Um, and so it was, I just thought, I got nothing. I have absolutely nothing. And so here I sit, <clears throat> back in my studio, talking about my trip. So let me, just, let me just explain to you what I wanted, and then I'll show you the picture I got. It's just that simple. So what I wanted was a wide angle shot, so I'm using my 15 to 35 on my EOS R. I wanted a wide angle shot down the middle of these pier pilings, using all of the piers as a leading line to the center of the picture. I wanted a cloud cover. I wasn't sure exactly how that was going to work because um, sometimes there are clouds, sometimes there are not clouds, sometimes there are so many clouds you can't see the sun. And I was hoping for a cloud cover with just a tinge of orange because I have this chair in the living room that is an orange kind of leather, a burnt orange. And I was looking to tie that color into this picture. 
But the problem that is, if you're shooting at sunrise, all of the pier pilings are in shadow because the sun is behind them. And, you know, I can raise the ISO, um, and, but then I risk blowing out the sky. But I took it because I thought, well, if I get a good shot here and I get the sky I want, maybe I can overlay it with a picture I take later in the day, do a composite, I'll get what I want. So I did that. I took pictures at sunrise. I went back in the middle of the day. I bought a 15 stop neutral density filter to shoot in the afternoon. And I got some, I got, you know, a decent time of day. But of course, in the middle of the day with the sun really bright, there are no clouds. So I was really more focused on what can I get with the, with the pilings. So I did this one day, two days until the third day. And <clears throat> at sunset, I thought, I, rather than walk across the, the peninsula to the Gulf side and watch the sunset, I'm just going to stay here and see what the sunset does to the sky. And it was like magic. The very last picture I took, the very last one, after three and a half days of photography at this spot, the single last picture I took is the picture I wanted. And I could not have been happier. And so now, when I go back to my living room, I have this little bit of <sighs> on the wall. And believe me, it is worth every moment I took to get this shot.